and this is Brian Piney at the Department of Genetics at Stanford University. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about the exciting experiments we have planned as part of the ME-CFS Severely Ill Big Data Study. So when studying this, these patients, we want to be as comprehensive as possible. And to do that, we want to sequence as many biomolecules as we can uh, out of the blood. And so this can consist of DNA, so sequencing these individuals' genomes, as well as the genes that are expressed in those genomes, so the RNA, as well as the epigenetic marks on those genomes. We then want to look at the proteins that are encoded by those genes, as well as the circulating me metabolites that are produced uh, via various functional pathways. And so to do that, we are as comprehensive as possible when measuring biomolecules out of blood and other bodily fluids. So we take blood, separate it into its constituent components, including plasma, cells, and sera, and we do a lot of biomolecular assays, including proteomics, so looking at all the proteins in the blood. This is done via mass spectrometry, as well as a series of targeted assays measuring important low abundant proteins. We also look at the transcriptome, uh, so that's a technology called RNA-seq, as well as we sequence these individuals' genomes via whole genome sequencing technologies, as well as epigenetics using a technology called whole genome bisulfite sequencing. We look at immune cell profiles using a technology called mass cytometry, or CYTOF, and we also look at cir circulating cytokines and chemokines using a Luminex-based technology. So along with the blood, we also want to look at the microbes that reside in an individual's gut. And this is the field of microbiomics. So we sequence uh, the bug's genomes. So this is metagenomics. And we also want to know what these things are doing in the gut. And so to do that, we want to look at the genes, proteins, and metabolites that are produced by these microbes. And that's the fields of metatranscriptomics, metaproteomics, and metametabolomics. And so last but not least, we also sample urine and we measure uh, metabolites that are circulating uh, in the urine. And so when you collect all these data, the, then you can start to put this all together into what we call a personalized omics profile. And so this identifies genes, proteins, metabolites, everything that is specific to an individual and is hopefully uh, related to that individual's disease. And so we have a lot of data that will be generated in the near future, and I hope to be back in touch with you uh, with some interesting data in the future. Thank you.